Today we will be working in Microsoft Word with images. As you will recall, the terms images, graphics, pictures are all used interchangeably. Microsoft Word has some powerful editing features for images. Let's begin by opening a template in Microsoft Word. Click on the Office button in the upper left hand corner of the Microsoft Word workspace and choose New. For this example we're going to use a brochure template called a travel brochure. If this is the first time you're using um, templates that may be located on Microsoft Word web space, you may have to um, verify that you have genuine Microsoft Word software. This only takes a moment. You will notice that the brochure is full of clip art and doesn't look that professional. We are going to use some graphic photography images to enhance this publication. First of all, click on the Eiffel Tower to select it, and we want to delete the Eiffel Tower clip art. Next, we will draw an oval and insert a picture inside of it. From the Insert tab at the top of your Microsoft Word workspace, choose Shapes and then the Oval Drawing Tool. As you will notice, there are many, many shapes that you can use, and you can insert any picture into any of these shapes at any time when you're working with your publications. You will notice once you select the oval shape, your mouse turns into a crosshair. Go ahead and draw an oval in the area that was vacated by the Eiffel Tower. Release your mouse button and your oval will appear. Next, I want you to click right click on the oval and choose Format Auto Shape. What we're going to do is use the Fill command to fill the oval with a photo. Choose Fill Effects and choose Picture. Select Picture. Then I want you to go out on your computer where you have saved the Lighthouse logo um, pictures. Once again, this will probably be different for everybody depending upon where you saved your images. For this first example, I'd like you to choose the South Haven Lighthouse 2 photo and choose Insert and choose OK and OK on the Format Auto Shape dialog box and you will notice that the picture took the shape of the oval. Now you don't have to deal with those square photos any longer. Next what we're going to do is crop an image. That means to take out some of the background and make the lighthouse is what we're going to use um, a bigger part of the image. Go ahead and choose the castle and delete that clip art and we're going to choose insert picture and for this example we're going to use the main Manistee Lighthouse. Go ahead and click insert. You will notice it doesn't always put the, doc the picture where you may like it in your document when using templates especially. Go ahead and click and drag and move the Lighthouse photo to the end of the line in the paragraph Memories to Last a Lifetime and then release your mouse. When using templates, you can always come up on things that you don't expect, and for this example, it, it works because you can see you cannot see the entire Lighthouse photo. What you need to do is, what we've done is put the Lighthouse photo inside of a text box, so we need to enlarge that text box so it will show the entire photo. Click on the text above the Lighthouse, and then you drag the um, handle down to the bottom of the page so that it fills the entire column and now you will see the photo is there. Go ahead and click the photo and what we want to do is we want to edit or crop the photo. Choose Picture Tools at the top of your Microsoft Word workspace and choose Crop. As you will notice your mouse turns into the cropping tool. If you take the cropping tool and click on any handle around the edge and hold, your mouse will change shape and as you push the photo in you will notice that you've gotten rid of some of the background on the left hand side of the photo. We also want to get rid of some of the foreground of the photo. 
so click and hold that. If you like, you can also get rid of some of the um, background on the right hand side of the photo. Whenever you're pleased with cropping, we need to release the, release the cropping tool, so simply click anywhere in the document to release the cropping tool. Now, what we need to do is actually get that photo a little bigger so it does fill up the space that we, were, we have for it. Remember, always, always enlarge photos, clip art, anything by using corner handles. We don't want short, fat pictures nor tall, skinny ones. Once you have the photo the size that you like, go ahead and click off of it. Now just take a look at that um, document so far and we have greatly enhanced it with the use of photos versus clip art. Next what I'd like you to do is go ahead and, and insert the Michigan Lighthouse Tour logo that we had created previously in other lessons. Go ahead and click on the Your Logo here text box. Choose Insert Picture and we're going to choose the Lighthouse Tour logo and choose Insert. And do that once again over on the left hand side. Now you can see we've completed this document. Of course you will need to go through if you're really going to use this document and edit all of the text and information. But I just wanted to show you a few quick ways to enhance your images in Microsoft Word. I have one more short thing I'd like to show you. If you would, click on the Microsoft Office button and choose New and simply create a blank document. Now we're going to choose Insert Picture and we are going to use the little Sable Lighthouse 2 for this example. Whenever you insert a picture outside of a template, because like I said, sometimes templates have things built in that we may not like, so if you want to get the full effect of Word, you may want to start with a blank document sometimes. Now you'll notice the Picture Tools format bar is included, and we have many, many professional options that used to be only available to professional editors. Um, one of my favorites, of course, is Fade, where the image is faded around the edges. Also notice that you can change the picture shape. You can also add picture effects. You can add shadows, glows, soft edges, bevels. Um, you can rotate it. You can do all kinds of things. So I want you to take this opportunity to experiment with Microsoft Word and just don't accept the boring square default insert image photos. I hope you've learned a lot with this lesson and I look forward to providing you more information next week. Thanks.